Hi everybody, my name is Manic, the short for Maximum Panic. Welcome back to another episode of Death Stranding, or some of you know this, Norman Reedus and his amazing fetus. Hang on, what the hell is this? Ugh. Mom of the Fallen Angel. Okay, yeah, so you know what we did last time? We got a photographer's camera back and shit. We just went through another World War II thing. As you might have suspected, time here stopped while you two were on that battlefield. Why am I not surprised? My thinking is correct. The dimension to which you traveled is a kind of beach. Uh, to, yeah. to explain a little, our bodies, our ha, all occupy the same world, but our souls, our ka, have beaches all their own. I mean, yeah, pretty standard These stuff. Beaches are given form inside our brains. That's Hartman, by the way, if you don't know who that is. Religion, philosophy, and so forth. As a result, a beach can be anything, and those anythings form a multiverse. However, Fair. if many people die at once, their beaches can become entangled, creating a strand field. This phenomenon is exacerbated in wartime by omnipresent feelings of resentment and despair. Beaches are more easily and frequently entangled. On such a beach, yeah. exits vanish, and experiences cycle endlessly. Um, picture it like a, a, a record player. <laughs> Even Sam's getting New tired of this bullshit. Playing this it's going on way too long. Again and again. They're fighting a battle that has no beginning or end. Round and round it goes. Yeah. Now the battlefield you visited was in Eastern Europe in World War Two. I mean, I knew that much. Which is strange, given that the man you encountered, uh, Clifford Unger, played no part in that conflict. I can't explain it. But if you can connect me to the chiral network, who knows what we might discover. All right. So that's the mission this time around. I gotta go through another painful trek through the mountainside to go find Hartman and, uh, deliver some shit. And I think we finally have BB back to normal? If so, what? I have a request. When you're ready, head upstairs to the delivery terminal. Alright, alright. The good news is we're almost there to the west coast. We're in the, um, what's technically considered the Rockies, I guess? Well, that's the only other explanation for why I'm climbing over this stupid mountain range. Now, is Beaver gonna have another vision if I hook him up, or is nothing gonna happen? I'm extremely curious, because, uh... Yeah, Dead Man said that he severed our connection, right? So why is this happening? Can I help you? Maybe the operation didn't work. Who did? John. Is that you? Who? What are you doing here? My wife's checked in. I don't want to repeat it last year. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were that. That's Die Hard Man's voice! Huh. So I guess you knew Clifford? Interesting. So whatever Dead Man tried to do, I don't think it really worked. And there or that, or those have been my memories, because, uh... Verifying ID. If those are my memories, that means I didn't even need to hook up BB to see them. Kind of. Sam, the west side of that region is covered by a massive tar belt. Ah, crap. Mm -hmm. Beyond it is Edgenon City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. Fair. It's your final destination. Oh, boy. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the Cairo network will span the entire continent. Continent? The rebirth of America is so close. And remember, uh, that's where Amelie is being held captive. I'm sure? We need you to bring her home safely. Back across the tar belt. The tar belt, there's one more knot we need you to tie. Hartman's, right? Hartman will help you get it done. That's what I thought. Okay, at least it's a straight shot to there, you know? Hi! I'd like for you to bring me a few things. Okay. First, the dog tags you took from that soldier. Uh huh. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Done. Second, Mama's corpse. Why? Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I, for one, would like very much to know the reason why. Close really? Close may yield information that could prove instrumental in helping us to overcome the death stranding. Huh. Suffice it to say, one minute remaining. What? I don't have much time. See to your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find One minute to what? On the terminal. 
What's he on the timer for? Oh yeah, I gotta carry Mama's butt. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Mama's core. Oh, why do I have to carry these on my back? Oh lordy. Thank you, Lachna. Slash Malingan. Mama Lachna, I guess? All right, Sam. Take care of her. All right. And don't worry, she won't go necro. What? Malingan special. How, how do you know this? Uh... Be funny if these Havars ended up being the key to saving us all. I would be amazed if that were the case. So if the whole thing with her baby hadn't happened, then I'm assuming she would have necrotized, right? Like if the baby had been born naturally? It's either that or just them being identical twins has something to do with them not necrotizing. Huh. Okay then! Wait, I can't- Oh crap. I can't slit her onto the truck, can I? I CAN! Oh, thank the lord! This is gonna help so much. Now my question, is she riding in the passenger seat? Because I don't see her. I, yeah, she's probably in the back then. Okay! Cool, cool, cool. I have- I have the number of items required. Come on. Yeah, see what I mean? I'm fine. And I have BB back, so everything's gonna- Hey, the highway's looking better! Alright. So just veer out of here and, and then make a left, right? Right. I mean left. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, nope. careful, 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 careful. Okay, so I looked it up. And as I've been playing the series, I've kind of been cross-referencing it with Jack's Epic Eyes playthrough. I mean, the parts that, you know, I've finished and not necessarily, like, the rest of the game that he's finished. Apparently, I'm not crazy when I say this truck handles like a bitch because it gave him problems as well. Because apparently... <laughs> He said something about the kinetic movement or the momentum or something as soon as it hits a rock. Rocks are bitches in this game, man. That, that's the only conclusion I can really come to. Oh, lordy. Easy does it. Easy does it. I, I can't even bend the camera all the way upward to see what it's, what's up there. No, stop, stop, stop. Move it. Stop moving. Stop it! See what I mean? I hate this truck. I hate, I hate every vehicle in this game because it just doesn't... Nothing wants to listen to me. That's the conclusion I've come to. And if I hit the wrong thing, this can... Stop! Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Ow! Ah, shit. Okay, it looks like I'm going on foot. Sorry, BB! Is it that deep? No, it's fine. Or it should be anyways. As long as I- OH, COME ON! Dave, I can- I can do that?! Excuse me?! <laughs> what is this?! The Hidden Valley Digestive Bath. This salty spring tucked away in a little-known corner near Mountain Knot City lies. Likely owes exi existence to the nearby tar pits. This more springs an extended dip can stimulate the digestive system, making it ideal for individuals looking to unburden themselves and detox. Soak and sigh. That's a <laughs> No wonder the doctor put his house up here. <laughs> easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. Just stop. 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 This game actually hates me today. I'm I don't understand. Why does this game hate me so much? Ever so gently we go. I'm- it's right there. The rope is right there. Please, game! There. Oh my god. This game actually hates me and I don't understand why it does. But whoever put this rope here, thank you! Thank you for being my saving grace! I'm gonna give it all the likes that I can! I'm basically climbing a wall right now. That is exactly what's happening. But at least there's some leverage, like, right about there. Damn, is that Harbin's lab? Swanky. I, I think. I mean, this kind of looks like- yeah, it's definitely the place. It took me way too long to figure out how to get here. I mean, these- these mountain ranges are really confusing! There we go. Harbin's lab, south of Mountain Knot City. I mean, yeah, obviously. Uh, man, there was probably a lot easier way to get here without me having to climb up over, like, all these fucking mountaintops, because good lord, I had to go up and around that thing! Right up there. Okay. I'm sick of this shit. Let's just run up to the front door, knock and say, let me in, motherfucker. Now I'm out here with Mama's body in pretty damn good condition, not gonna lie. You know, you know the second time around, because the first time it took over 53% damage. Hello? This is a nice terminal. Huh. Make delivery, Mama. Alright. Delivery complete. Display performance evaluation. I'm sure. How'd I do? Only... Car condition? Wait, what? Uh, I'm sorry? I thought- Okay, you know what? Fuck it, I don't care anymore. Request to join UCA. Registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. I- 
Uh, I don't know what to tell you. At least he's connected now, right? And maybe he's back to enjoy this. <laughs> he looks so mystified. Okay. That was literally shaped like a heart. Or a butt. Whichever way you want to look at it. <laughs> heart and slide joined the UCA thermal pad. Huh. Okay then. Please proceed into the facility with a cadaver. Uh, is the place padded? It looks like it's padded. Hello, hello, hard man. Hello, I have arrived. Until resuscitation. Wait, what? What? It? Oh, scary. Are those? What are those made out of? Are, are they supposed to be BTs? I mean... Damn. So, uh... Ooh, nice! Man, all the floors are padded! What's up with that? Hartman? Until resuscitation. Wait, is he... Did, is he in cardiac arrest? Is that what's happening? Well, actually, that would explain the AED strapped to his chest. Damn. Uh, Hartman? I bring you your cargo. I know it's not in great condition, but you know what? Fuck it. I don't care anymore. Oh. This is wife and daughter. It's gotta hit home. Nine, eight, seven, Hard. six. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh. Administering shock. Stand clear. <gasps> Hello. Uh, hi, Hartman. Episode eight, Hartman, or Hartman, whatever you want to call him. Well, cool. you certainly caught me with my pants down. Mm-hmm. Glad you could make it, Sam. Mm. Oh, sorry. yeah. No fudgy. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Sure. Ah, oh, please, lay her down there. Okay. Man. Swanky place, dude. Still no sign of them. What the hell are you doing? You know, that you is trippy. Me. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach and then return. What? 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. Damn. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. Uh... This, is how I this is my life. So, huh. while you've traveled to and from the sea an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. I'm sure. Two hundred thousand five hundred and forty-nine. Holy shit, dude! How the hell can your heart survive that kind of strain on your body? I that can't be good. In that crater. My wife and my child. Okay. It's like looking at the Whoa. shape of my heart. The doctors <laughs> called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. Those are in void outsides, aren't they? Pictures. Care to see heart whence heart shape heart? Uh. No, you really should. It doesn't run in. The Whoa! Family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I, I would induce uh... cardiac arrest three minutes at a time, and search for them, day okay. after day after day. That's, uh... Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. Fair point. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? Also fair point. 
I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> 20 if likes received from Harpin, great, reunited. thanks. That's right, yes. Sam, good job, but good job. Repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. Yeah, like I was saying, and I can't survive that kind of strain. They started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. Yeah. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Why am I here again? Oh. Yeah, no touchy. A body that doesn't necrotize. Yeah. No Oof. sign of decomposition. A little banged up. It's as if she were still alive. Shocking. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. Yeah, it's weird, huh? What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Oh yeah, the dog oh, tags? Found it. They hold. Uh what? Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Who? Human by the looks of it. I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. Huh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Kind of tarish, right? And this was Mama's? It was yes. it? Yes. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. Huh. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. I mean, Enough a lot of help, to set but... my sore heart racing. D don't. Five I... minutes to cardiac arrest. Oh, I boy. apologize if our conversation gets cut short. You said every 21 minutes, right? That was not 21 minutes. That was like I five max, the maybe. And look for my wife and child. So what do you want me to do until then? One person. One beach. That's the rule. Okay. I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others. As huh. if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe okay. this twisted heart of mine made it possible. Huh. All I know is that I will find them. Okay. Even if my every visit raises new questions. I'll have my answers one day. Hope so. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. Yeah. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Good question. Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. A place through which they pass on the way to the other side. Oh, okay. But if regret... Uh, Resentment, a, a fervent desire to remain. If these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach. A collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you're in a stable position. I don't know. Oh boy. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Yeah? Activating lab security measures. What the? Could you just relax until I come back? Yeah, okay. Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Huh. Rest assured. It'll only feel like three minutes to you. It will have been three minutes. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> it's 
smooth. Okay then. So, uh, hmm. Move camera. Wait, what am? Huh. What am I supposed to be looking at here? So I literally just have to preoccupy. Oh, whoa. Daddy is drawn by his kid daughter. Thirty likes received. Okay. Huh. Okay, so I guess there's different things I can look at here, huh? Yeah, those those are like BT sculptures, aren't they? They have to be. Ooh. The Chiral Hourglass, Arbiter of Life. So that thing measures how long he has until he, uh... Yeah. Hartman's AD. What about the monitors? Huh. Interesting. Oh, man. Family Fortune back in the day with the dog tag right there. What about that? Hartman's daughter. Oh, she's pretty. What else does there to look at? Whoa! Hello! Nendoroid Jumbo Ludens. Is that a thing? I didn't know Nendoroids still existed. What the hell are these things? Unknown or recovered from Void Out Crater. Hyrule Crystal, immediate post-DS period. Oh, immediate post-Death Stranding. BT Illustration, Artist Impression. What about these things? BT Apparition, Artist Impression. What about this? Cryptobats discovered immediately after the stranding. Huh. I'm trying to see if I can spot everything that I can. No, that's not a thing. That's not a thing either. What about that? Nope, guess not. Well, that was fun! There's Mama. Sorry your body's not in the best condition. Mama's remains or you know, remain because she's still in one piece and all. Whoa! Hello! Whale skeleton. That's a whale skeleton! Okay then! Wakey wakey, art man! Time to get up! Rise and shine, it's time for pancakes! See? It's gonna be like so, like I was saying, right? <laughs> Hello! No luck. Dang. Visit 218,550. Damn, dude. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? <laughs> I am uh. used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a I'm first not. time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't Understandable. Be like this. Yes. It really can't be. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. What? Defecation, pollution, nutrition. Yeah. Things you have Most to be able to do within 21 minutes. Things fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep, on the other hand? Sleep is the tricky one. And That's what I thought. I suppose. Oh, oh Lord. Physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Stop. Uh, Just stop, please. Can you read, Sam? I can't read. What are you implying? Yeah, I love music. Watch films? Of all three, you know, yes. I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows. Can you guys read any of those titles? Interesting short films. I'm trying to read stories. Them. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. Huh. 20 minutes of love, oh, a 1914 short best known as the King of Silent Comedy's directorial <laughs> debut. Huh. But honestly, cool. the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. You're kidding. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. That's fair. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. Jeez. I'm already dead. In a matter of speaking, sure, but you're feeling. still here. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. Yeah? I lost my family in an accident. Uh, yeah, which would explain the craters down there, right? The void outs? Is that what happened? I was in the ICU having heart surgery out of town in that city. Okay. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then? 
and then they were caught in the void out. Ooh. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. Oh shit! But the shockwave knocked out the power. That is spooky. Oh place. man. <laughs> I'm getting some weird Resident Evil vibes from this. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> Nightmares in Corded, am I right? Was spooky as oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. I'm getting shivers on my spine right now. This is absolutely crazy. The people who They're all fucking dead! Were there. Yeah. And then? What happened? Uh, What's death, dude. Oh, yeah, because he's not even there. Everybody else was. So the afterlife is in the ocean? Is that where they're walking? <laughs> Creepy old ladies, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Oh! Huh. Dang. I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey! It's me! <laughs> Man, that's, that's gotta suck. Where are you going? Wait. Dude, they're dead, probably. If it was a void out, their bodies must have been incinerated. Don't leave without me. Which would explain why they don't they're no. not on any beaches after all these attempts. Oh! Oh! Don't go! Man. The Poor guy! The backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. Oh, damn. Poor guy. And that was the last time I saw my family. Again, void out, explosion. It's my heart's fault that we were torn apart. If they were it's incinerated the here, I'll then... I'll see them again someday. I it sincerely doubt me. they were BTs. I am Hartman. Because you have to incinerate them before they necrotize, right? <sighs> Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. He's been living with a broken heart. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. Okay. It's funny though. Even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Okay. Um, you have any family photographs, Simon? Uh, I mean, there's the one, but I'm not gonna tell you that, apparently, for some reason. Like, like I was saying, that here. was not 21 minutes! Oh, um, of course. Yeah, please, There's at some point. There's a station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before Damn. the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth uh... has a long memory. It's straw to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning. One that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The okay. scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Okay. Amelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Huh. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period. Mm. When the dinosaurs died out. Okay. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. <sighs> Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. That's... <laughs> Dude! Sometime later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began... Is that supposed to be the tar belts? ...spreading, consuming oh, many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. Fair. I think Higgs is to blame. I don't know. 
but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. A whole new way station? It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. Okay. But a Knot is still a Knot. Yeah. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network. Then go to Armory. Okay. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why everything's padded. Uh, sorry about that hard bin. Well, so this is happening. Okay, yeah, he, he's fine. Fine, he's fine, Sam. Let's just leave him. What is it with Die Harman spying on my every move? Oh, yeah, smart. It's not gonna be accurate because it's 30 seconds behind, but whatever. <sighs> so, Sam, Sam, Sam. <laughs> Dude! What was that? You were docked 20 likes by Hartman? Obviously. <laughs> And 20 likes back. Split the difference, huh? Oh, it's funny. Okay. Now what? Sam, you heard it. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. Okay. What are we doing again? Hi. The ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. Okay. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. That's but fair. we won't know more until we get to Edge Knot City. And that means connecting this region first. Okay. So what do you want me to do? You should Burn's start with lab. the geologist and the paleontologist. Oh, come on! Something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, <sighs> you can finish a delivery link up the final site in one go. Once okay. all three are on the grid, come back here. Fine, get fine. Get on the replacement for that lost way station. Oh, I'm really not going to enjoy this. It's going to be a lot of cargo, I guess not. A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. Sure. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to Chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. How the hell am I supposed Nor to help? will his health improve. So, we need you to bring him some Chirelium scrubbing agents. Uh... Administering shock. Stand clear. <sighs> so, like I was saying... The strata of the team was <laughs> from the end of the Cretaceous period. The time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. Okay. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. What, the dinosaurs? In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. What? If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Okay. It is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. This is just learning things about the death training. It doesn't help sense. me get Amelie. For what? This run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. Oh, come on! This paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Not again! The fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar. And the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. You mean imploding it now, wide open? I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high yield explosives. Please tell but me you have a better traveling you, case for this thing this time. Make sure you keep that container in one piece. No matter what. Damn it. I didn't want to carry another one of those things. What the hell is that? Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow-capped mountains. Sure. Okay, so I'll definitely get one of those. What else do we need? Oh yeah, I need a climbing anchor. Yeah, I'm gonna need a power skeleton. That wait, all terrain skeleton? Yeah. Uh let's see. Imprisoner's ability to move and stay upright on uneven surfaces. Definitely, please. Sam, 
What? I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need to be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb, <sighs> especially when transporting it by a carrier or vehicle. Are there any vehicles any here, by the way? Should trigger an alarm. Don't ignore it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Are we good? I think we're good. Okay, now let me plot out my rock. Is he said that I have to get to the um? Hmm. Hold up a second. Is that a safe house? Yeah, it is. Well, there's a foundation for one, anyways. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out which ways I have to go to get around these places. So I have to go, I have to go here and then there and then over to the what was it? The Evodevo scientist he said. So I need to head this way. But yeah, head around the bridge first. This is nice, nice and easy. I don't even have to hold anything to keep my balance. See what I mean? The bomb hasn't even gone off yet. Hey, freeze rock! Oh, it's gonna help so much. Thank you, my dude. Thank you. No, 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 no. Why, 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 why? I know a damage by the vibration. Shut up! God, there's so many chiral crystals. Why, 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 why do you hit me? Oh, come on! Well, I really should have backed the truck up before I put any shit in it. Okay, so like I was saying, I fucking hate antimatter bombs. Okay, let's get out of here and try this shit again. Oh my god! I don't give a shit if part of your cargo was damaged, I'm just happy to get it here. You're not collecting the antimatter bomb, are you? Oh, fuck. Sam Bridges. Hi. Oh, thank god for that. Uh-huh. I was worried you might not get here in time. But that well, nothing but worry of late. That's understandable, I same here. Those visions you doom sufferers see. That end of day stuff? Yeah. I put the nightmares down to fatigue. The uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me. Yeah. Uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage. Yeah. It's not an option. My research is nowhere near complete. It's not just my life you're saving here. It's my life's work. I really appreciate you doing this, you know. It can't have been easy coming here on your own. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm aware. This is not gonna be good, right, is it? Hey! What? Oh, I could've got a lot better, but you know oh, what? It's yeah. done. I'm like grateful. That. If you do the honors. Uh-huh. Gravity always helps a little bit, doesn't it? I know, why don't talk to me? Just go back to sleep, baby. You've done your part for now. I hope. Okay, that's one area. Nice, nice, nice. Lord. I've literally done like loop de loops around this shit. And Better? Just like that, I'm part of the UCA. With access to a treasure trove of historical research materials. Studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Yeah. Assuming I can prove once and for all that that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits in strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Oh, shit. Evidence of an ancient death stranding. You mean to tell me there's been more than chiral one? matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Okay. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that what? black fissure there? We believe sure. this is the source of the Chirelian readings. In huh. the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, yeah. producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Okay. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. Okay. The presence of Chirelian in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. Okay. And not just then. The Chiral Network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. You mean there's been more that than would one? Seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions oh, were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the Chiral Network. You've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. Okay. You've furthered our individual research projects. 
and ensure that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. Oh, but shit. this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. There we go. Your work is great. Okay. Let's refresh, recharge, everything for that matter, and just... Yeah. Because I can't transport the antimatter bomb like this. I really can't. See? That's cool looking, though. Oh. I didn't know Norman Reedus had such big ears, man. Yay! All fresh and ready to go again. This, this thing literally cannot take any more damage. This truck really hates me. All these trucks hate me. See what I mean? <sighs> Great. Okay. So that was a bitch and a half. I... I really thought it over. And honestly, I determined that, uh... Taking the floating carrier was a hell of a lot... Uh... It was a very much lower risk than it was to take the truck. Or any bike, for that matter. So I had to basically run the whole way here. But thank god! I can finally get this stupid antimatter bomb off my back! You have no idea how happy I am to get rid of this thing! <laughs> now I can actually run back up and get the truck again! This is not too far away, that is. Much appreciated, so I did have to run a long Thanks way here. Can finally move ahead with the dig. Good, good. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> sure. Alright, it's in good condition though, right? Please say yes. But hey, what am I worried about? Uh-huh. If you're hauling cargo this dangerous, you must know what you're doing. Ah, that's debatable. 31% damage. Not bad. I'm fine with it. Is it better? Okay. You can set up the chiral network while I work. Pumped porter. What the hell does that mean? Okay. Here. Take it. And never ask for this stupid thing again. Please. What if I transport an antimatter bomb on, a, on an auto delivery bot that'd survive? <laughs> there we go. Alright, there's one more place connected. Hallelujah. Oxygen mask. Hematic grenade level 2. Interview with the paleontologist. All that shit. Okay, cool! Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. Oh, fuck. The local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it en route. Sure. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. Huh. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Okay. I'm skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. That's fair. I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity. Sure, which sure. Which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. Okay. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Okay. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. Oh, what an idiot. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Well, that explain Old the oxygen Arrival mask. claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you, you could track it down. Oh, I don't to want to, though. The fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Okay. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. Fine. Hi, Hardman. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And I if understand. It is indeed 200 million years old. It would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another okay. one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We uh. must recover that cargo at all costs. All right. It can provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the death stranding. We're so close, so very, very close to grasping I want to go the home. Of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Fine. All right. Now I can actually have a little bit of fun with this. Now that I finally got rid of this stupid fucking antimatter bomb. Hey, Lockna. An oxygen mask, huh? Good idea. 
It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. Mask will drink a battery while it In addition it to protecting okay. you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. That's fair. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole time. But it does, so don't. Got it. Give me that shit. Now we can get the hell out of here. Hey, let me just take the map real quick, because it should be... Hopefully somewhere down here. Bingo! How many ominous did this guy lose? All right, there's one, two, three, four. Where's the last one? There you are. This is gonna be such an easy delivery, I hope. That's better. Come with me, little buddy. This is so much better than the stupid fucking antimatter bomb. This is nice. I got a nice easy mission right after the painstaking uh, bomb escort. This is nice. It's really nice. Hello, again. Oh, you found it. It wasn't hard to find, see. dude. I have to see it. Oh my. It really is immaculately preserved. I mean, yeah. What'd you expect of me? I am a master deliverer for a reason. Zero, 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 zero. S rank, awesome, yes. Ooh, nice, 20,000 bandwidth. Volcano orange, volcano orange. Okay, now what? I am a master transporter for a reason now, aren't I? Thanks for bringing in that lost shipment, Sam. Yeah, don't yes, mention it. It did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord attached. I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which yeah. lines up with one of his theories. What theory? Anyway, I, I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine. I oh, come on! Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar. I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite Hi, remarkable. And that's to your credit. To Thank clarify, you. she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Okay. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter. And okay. deliver them along with the ammonite. Great. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself. Which is why we must impose upon you. Well, I'm By not surprised. aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your sure, continued sure. help, I know we can accomplish even more. Oh, man. All right, fine, I get it. You know, I got the whole thing where Kojima said that the part of this game was to get back to nature or just, like, take a break from technology, but you know what? It's become incredibly frustrating, especially this region with the fucking mountains and shit. It's become really tedious to get through these areas. Especially with the stupid bomb missions. I hate them the most. They actually made me want to quit this game a couple of times now. Which I know must be unheard of for you guys, but you know what? It's the truth. This game can be extremely frustrating sometimes, but at least the story's pretty good. Oh, crystals. Nice. No matter what do. It's like it's practically reaching out for me. They said that I have to recover this shit from a BT area first, though. Great. Yeah, it's straight ahead, isn't it? This is gonna suck. Wait for it. Yep, there we go. That sounds about right. Got the cord. It's not the difficult, just got the cord. There we go. Oh, better. Well, everything I need seems to be that way, so I guess I'll go that way. The doctor is here to cut some cords. And there we go. Let's see cord. Perfect. God, there's, why are they all so far away, though? Oh, sure. Now you want to be a bitch and show your face. Come here, let me cut your cord. That's better. A little bit closer. And cut it. And that's a wrap, people. Am I going the right way? I'm going the right way. It's directly north of here. I got this. Can I be done with this shit now? Because I think this will be like the third place that I have to bring back onto the network and then I can just go back, right? I, I think. Is that how that works? Hello. I bring you your shit. None of them were that badly damaged. I don't oh, okay. One of them was kind of. Hi. I'm impressed, Sam. I'm not. not many people would have even attempted this. Ma'am. Uh, go ahead. Not a scratch on it. And the tar inside is safe and secure. Good, you do good, not good. Disappoint, my friend. I try. Sometimes I'm, to I'm so tired, I just don't give a shit anymore. Okay, there we go. Zero percent damage. S rank. Yes. There we go. Now, connect me to the chiral network. Sure, sure. That's Hang where on. my studies will truly begin. All right then. <sighs> Yay! 
Enjoy it while you can, baby. There we go. Alright then. Connect it. It's a huge chunk, actually. Man, we made it all the way out there. Damn. Grenade launcher, what? Hell yes! Thank you. Yeah, I do what I can. without saying, but I am convinced that the tar is related to the BTs and the Death Stranding. I mean, obviously, After they've been leaving all, it behind. Both it and Timefall are the defining features of the post-stranding ecosystem. Sudden environmental changes such as these invariably lead to the extinction of organisms that fail to adapt. Okay. Those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers, the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their advantages. These genetic factors are the key to evolution. But there are genes which have the opposite effect, those okay. which disadvantage organisms. Extinction factors, as they have been called. These are the seeds of advancement and obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all, a choice waiting to be made. For every being since the advent of life itself. Okay. If so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the tar. Evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in navigating our current crossroads. In any event, thanks to you, I can now study the composition of the tar in greater detail. I'll make sure to share any interesting results with you later. Hi, Hardman. Well done, Sam. You furthered our research into the Death Stranding in ways you cannot imagine. I really can't. Thank you again for bringing me Mama's body, as well as that ammonite. Speaking of which, my analysis of its umbilical cord is proceeding apace. I've been comparing the data against some of our restored archives. Uh -huh. Anyway, would you mind returning to my lab? Preparations are finally complete for the chiral relay integration. If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here, I would be most grateful. Sure thing, my dude. He's my favorite so far. Along with Dead Man used to be my favorite, but then he stole my BBs from me, so. Ah! Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, we're back. We're almost there. Thank the Lord. Thank the Maker. I can recharge my legs. Get a good night's sleep, I hope. Which is kind of ridiculous. You'd think that, like, if there were a safe house at Hardman's place, it'd at least look a little more suave, or whatever you want to call it. Um, just because, you know, he has such a nice place as it is. I mean,. You think? Hi. That was a pain in the ass, but at least I got it done. Lou looks happy. He better be. Okay. Cool. We're done. Ish. Hi. I'm back. So, uh, is there something you wanted to show me, hard man? What are we looking at? <laughs> and this is what you do, buddy. Uh, hard man? Are you at? Oh, you're not not cold again. You, Just quiet. In reclaiming our past, we've uncovered a number of vital clues. Like what? Don't worry, I just got back. We have time. I... When you met with Mama, yeah. you experienced a strong antigen antibody reaction, correct? There was a BT uh... in the room. There was, but something else may have been causing it. Like what? I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in Mama as well. What? Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. It's in all her cells. Cells what? that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. Yeah, um... It was her child, but also her own soul. What? Somehow, her car and her failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. Okay. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Yes. And there's more. Huh. Set positive cardiac arrest. Ah, frick. Five, four, three, two, one. Negative cardiac arrest. What's I happening? Modified the lock times. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Dang. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Oh, right, because he was doing the secret investigating for us. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. But what? I couldn't risk Die Hardman finding out about the case. 
What is it? I had no choice but to keep it off the books. Oh, Lord. You've got to keep this between us. We still don't know if the director can be trusted. Really? The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. Wait, what? The cord wasn't attached to a fetus. It was outside her body. Uh... She asked me to take care of it. Said it was the key to unlocking the Death Stranding. But she insisted that I never tell the director. None the fuck? The cord shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost Just like Mama. Frozen in time. Huh. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with your cargo at Mountain Knot City. Okay. <laughs> nice. Dead man's observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? Whoa. I mean they share a very unique property. That they Both don't age and... large amounts of Corellia in their cells. Because uh, didn't Ollie say she couldn't age because she was words, stuck on the beach out there? The president's cord was somehow connected to the beach. What? And that allowed it to escape the flow of time. I've put together the bones of a theory. Oh yeah, what is your thing going to run out since you dismantled the sharing, timer? I think. Just curious. What the? Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions. Great and small, including the big five. Okay. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find Corellium deposits that can be dated to each. Huh. What if the manifestation of, uh, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction level events? You mean? Yes. Our death stranding could just be the latest of many. Oh, Lord. The records and research you helped us to recover. You said there were like five big ones, we are right? In the middle of the sixth extinction. Oh, son of a bitch. Extinction. Come on. Please, come on. You can't what be serious. A frozen it's a mammoth? mammoth from 10,000 years ago. <laughs> and this? 111,192 likes? Damn. 5,300 years ago. <laughs> they both had the same Come on. Reports. Whoa. <laughs> Bullshit. Humor me. What if the mammoth and the iceman weren't frozen? But... You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the Death Stranding, so there's right. no way to examine the genuine articles. That's but fair. some fragments of data did survive. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evo Devo tech. All right. How's this? Uh, a dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. But Umbilical they hatched from eggs, didn't they? Not decomposed. Oh, How did... Only mammals have umbilical cords. Mm -hmm. No. Only mammals have umbilical cords used hey. for child <laughs> This is something else. Call it a strand from the other side. Ooh. I propose that mammalian umbilici are a sort of mimesis of the strand, then evolved over time. Meaning? We shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Huh. Trilobites, ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceman, all preserved as if frozen in time. He's or got a point. I mean, exception. even if they were frozen um, in the ice, there'd still be evidence of decomposition in the bodies, right? To say that all may have been connected. Freezing it can only preserve it for so long. It's like putting food in the freezer. <laughs> and this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, EE theory, leads what? me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. Which means... You see, Sam, EEs are connected. <laughs> To the beach <laughs> via the strands, and it is through this. Can I just call them Yeezys? Yeezys is too hard to bring say straight. A <laughs> so you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? If that's the case, it's Mom might have been too. To say anything for certain, and since you burned her body, <sighs> we may never know. But she was necrotizing. It said Amelie's an EE. 
And she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. Assume what? that President Strand was an E.E. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the President is unavailable. Oh, boy. So he kidnaps her for E.E. E. powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction. Hmm. I can see why. I mean, perhaps, perhaps not. I die is one crazy e. motherfucker. Powerful enough to cause a death stranding, assuming Amelie is an E. What? Well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed, and we need to get her back as soon as possible. I mean, that explains why they've been keeping her captive. Not oh, great. Ah, this one is real. Sam, go west. Okay. If you say so. How do you want me to handle Die Hardman? With your Don't? customary reserve. Wait, Nothing what? Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is going on, we still need the chiral network. Great. Right. Okay. Well. Activating lab security measures. Have a good one, Doctor. Five. And he's out cold. Ah, figures. The thing that doesn't make sense to me is Amelie and President Strand look so similar. It's hard to tell whether or not they're actually like mother and daughter or if there's something else going on. Let me just uh, check that real quick. What the? It's time, Sam. When you're ready, proceed to the shore <sighs> of the tar belt and begin work on the chiral relay. Once it's ready, use the Cupid to bring it online. Honestly, the maybe next episode. Materials are prepped for you. Supplies are limited, so handle them with care. Yeah, yeah, I got You'll it. You'll be carrying a lot too. Figures. All things considered, this might be one of your hardest runs to date. Oh, really? So the Pump antimatter bomb wasn't hard, hard right, enough? So, he'll take it from here. Great. It's about time for his wake-up call, anyway. He just went down for a nap, dude. Administering shock. Stand clear. Never mind. So, like I was saying. <laughs> Right. About that way station. <laughs> the site great. we have chosen was an original candidate for the way station we lost to the tar melt. Okay. Uh, ironically, we suspended construction okay. because we deemed it a little too unstable and not worth the risk. Uh -huh. But this time, it's our best shot. I can imagine. Let's hope we weren't right to change horses in midstream. Fortunately for us, the foundation we laid down is still intact. All Good. you have to do is transport the necessary materials to the site and finish the okay. job. I mean, materials I can do. the only way we can expand the network further west and rescue Armory. That's fair. We're counting on you, Sam. I know, I know. All right. You know what, though? Um, Before I do that, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm sorry if it's been a long one, but you know what? I just... This is all the Hartman-related stuff. Honestly, this might be actually be one of my favorite episodes, you know, despite the fact that I had this transferred all the way across the fucking Rockies and shit. Even with the bombs, I still enjoyed really doing this part of the playthrough, so thank you guys for watching another episode of Death Stranding with- If you like this episode, then please feel free to leave a like, drop a comment down below, tell your friends about me, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Either way, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Max out!